Happy Friday. Hey, how's it going? It's Friday, January 11th, 2019. My name is Brandon Devnich from i3dthemes and pegasus.com and this is the interactive number 113 where we share what we're passionate about and what we've been working on in the i3d themes and pegasus.com design and code labs. Last week I had mentioned that by the end of this week we should probably have a good idea when the ultra website template actually oh I spilled it <laughs> the code name <laughs> the at that point unnamed website template uh, that Colin has been working on for the better part of two months when that would be complete and what the status of it was <laughs> oh, by the way it's called ultra uh, for very good reasons this he I haven't had a chance to actually work on it uh, in fact I won't because it is freaking amazing it is the culmination of Colin's design evolution since he started doing website design in 2001 to what it is now it is a thing of beauty it is the nicest design I've ever seen him craft uh, most beautiful professional clean striking it's I'd use the word pinnacle <laughs> the name but we've already used that particular template name before we're gonna call this one ultra um, ultra awesome so it's not ready yet we're hoping to get it uploaded off to our servers next week uh, next week is gonna be a very busy week we have a lot of stuff going on but uh, again this week has been very busy as well you know it, it doesn't take two months to build a template it could take two weeks but over the course of the last two months, there's a lot of projects that are ongoing. There's a lot of support that's ongoing for ex existing purchases, um, all the stuff that goes on day to day, and it, and it draws out the design process. Now, with this new template, it's actually going to be a whole new generation of design, I'm calling it Generation 12. There's been 11 generations before it of website design that we have produced where the templates are all common. So this is going to be a whole new package um, way of, of tweaking the components and the regions within the pages, uh, but m so much better than before. It's going to be using Bootstrap 4. All the previous versions have been Bootstrap 3 or Bootstrap 2.3. This version, from what Colin told me yesterday, will not be using Font Awesome, it will be using something else. It's going to be using Google Material Design icons, and they are great looking. Um, you're just going to have to wait and see. And, and trust me, they're, they're really awesome. So that is Ultra. It's coming the next two weeks. Could be sooner, but I am really excited about this. I had no idea what this was going to look like until... Colin shared some screenshots and some video and all the interactives and the parallaxing. It is beautiful. So I had mentioned that there have been 11 generations before this. And for the first couple of years, it was, we'd used one particular styling of or temp, templating of, of the code. And then another one. And somehow we came up with that there were probably four generations at one point, and then we actually officially started calling them Generation 5, Generation 6, Generation 7. And it used to be that we were actually keeping up with it a new generation every year. But because of the architecture that we've been using over the last few years, there wasn't any need to um, really switch to a new generation of website template. Now we have Bootstrap 4, it just made sense that the instructions are going to change for this one. We're just going to call it, this is generation 12, not generation 19. We're not going to skip ahead like that, like some operating systems. Hey, Windows 10, hold on. What happened to 9? Um, or iPhone. <laughs> what happened to 9? Maybe somebody can tell me what happened to 9. What's wrong with 9? Nine? 9's a good number, I thought. So we've been through that generations... 11 has been here for probably, mm, probably about three or four years. And before that, Generation 10 was probably about two or three years. Uh, generation 12, we'll see what, how its longevity is. 
it is going to allow for rapid design. So Colin is really super stoked about this one. He's going to be able to assemble new templates in a much shorter time frame, which is going to be awesome. And um, hopefully flip them over to a WordPress theme as well. One of the things in, in the code lab this week, I have been finding that there has been, you know, like Colin gets a lot of sales calls for, you know, just refreshing websites, making sure they're mobile responsive, updating the look and feel to be more modern. Uh, what hits my desk are all the requests for web performance. So, you know, some, I'm going to say three years ago, we started developing a piece of software for traditional websites, you know, the ones where you have like a .html extension. That software um, performed web performance optimizations on the pages automatically, um, improving their speed and their load time, and that was called Numo Accelerator. And uh, just this last week, there has been a great flurry. Seems everybody realizes now this is web performance is a big thing. It's in the news. It is uh, Google has been saying for some time now mobile responsiveness is important. Now mobile. Um, how your page displays for mobile is how you're going to be found in search, as well as how fast your web page is loading is integral to how well you'll be found in search as well. I've been getting a lot of requests for onboarding the websites for Numo Accelerator, and then of course Pegasus Accelerator, which is our WordPress version. Uh, I mentioned last week that the target for the end of this week was going to be getting it into the WordPress repository. You might say, well, why is the plugin not already in the repository? Well, it was never designed to be in the repository. It was a piece of software. Um, typically, the plugins you see within the WordPress repository are free plugins. And, you know, we have to put food on our table. Uh, so the, the concept of giving away something that it has great value, such as a web performance plugin, into the plugin repository was not our initial go to. However, for the last uh, about five or six months, we have had focus in to make that an eventuality. And as the Pegasus system, the API that we've built does the heavy lifting such as critical CSS, the image optimization, uh, minification of a lot of assets, scanning of page speed scores, the it has been a progression to basically optimize the entire process because there's a lot that goes on. It slows, it can slow down a web servers, especially those that run WordPress because there's a lot going on on those websites. We're moving all that functionality through to the API. So um, now that we have a stable version of the plugin and we've been get, testing it specifically for wordpress.org, we now have a plugin which we're gonna be submitting uh, so that people can try it out, take it on a test flight, so to speak. Um, optimize 100 pages or optimize 10 pages 10 times. Basically, we're giving out 100 credits so you can try out the system, see how awesome it is, see how fast it can make your website. Um, and so hopefully we'll have that out next week. I have a very, very, very short list of must-be-dones. Uh, before we can post it out there, but I would, and then it has to go through a, a review process, which could take anywhere from two days to two weeks. We'll see. But I am extremely excited about this as well. This has been uh, the last couple of weeks has been um, very productive for both Colin and myself. And um, you know, we wanted to hit 2019, um, hit the ground running, so to speak, and uh, use the momentum that we were building in December with Pegasus and with the new design and really hit uh, 2019 hard. And uh, I, I don't know about you, I mean, I hear a lot of uh, you know, New Year's resolutions. It used to be a big thing, what your New Year's resolution was. Uh, and of course, some people are like, my resolution is to make no resolutions. And I think um, being um, an entrepreneur, a business person, a founder, uh, that it's critically important to build six, like habits positive habits. When you go through your day and you have your your routine set up um, and the things that are going to help contribute towards your success. And New Year's resolutions are just, you know, if they set you up to fail. I'm going to try 
to go to the gym more. I'm going to try to eat better. <laughs> so what we've found, uh, even personally and in business, is that we set particular goals. Like for myself, I'm, I'm going to make 10 major hikes this year with my son. So instead of saying, we're going to hike more, which I don't know how much more is, is two, uh, we're setting a goal. You know, it's like if you want to eat healthier, uh, I'm going to eat healthier. Oh, okay. Or I'm going to eat three salads a week for the month of January. Well, that's a very uh, specific and attainable goal. And if you'd start building that habit, then by the end of it, it doesn't seem like it's such, such a hard thing to do. And then you continue on with that. If you just do that with little things, one thing at a time, build in new habits, new positive habits. Um, in the end, uh, you finish your 2019 uh, in a much better place than you were at the beginning of the year. And so this is we're actually using this uh, to uh, stage ourselves as well in just how we do business and, and in personally as well in setting new goals coming up here. So be exciting to see how the first quarter rolls out. I know I am, as I said, I'm super stoked about the new design and about getting the plugin into WordPress. Hope you've got great plans for your 2019. Hope you're, uh, you know, it's going so awesome for you already. So awesome. So awesome right now. And uh, yeah, so hope you have great plans. I will talk to you again next week with an update on Ultra and on the situation, the status of Pegasus into the WordPress repository. And as we move forward, uh, the next steps for Pegasus and web performance optimization to bring it to the masses. Save the world a whole bunch of time. Awesome. See you next week. Bye-bye.